We have here now with us His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dayna, Bahrain Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Chief Executive of the Supreme Council for Environment, Acting Managing Director, Noga Holding. Welcome back to Abu Dhabi. How does it feel to come back after two years? Well, it's good to be back. Uh, good to have our life back after the COVID and um, seeing all here, uh, all friends and, and being in Abu Dhabi. It's a very good opportunity to uh, have a chat and speak of the outcomes of the COP26 and what is our future plans. Tell me a bit more about Bahrain project to fight climate change and your targets. Uh, Bahrain had made um, a commitment. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, uh, made a commitment um, for 2060 to be net zero. But we also uh, promised to cut 30% uh, of our emissions by 2035. We were very precise. We were going to quadruple our mangrove area. We're going to double our afforestation. We're going uh, to double our targets of the renewable energy. Energy efficiency is one of the main issue, main things that we're going to work on. So we have um, a future plan and we're working to achieve it, inshallah. Such a global event hosting people, leaders in the energy sector from everywhere. How important it is after COP26 here in Adipe? I just finished from the roundtable ministerial uh, meeting with different ministers of oil and industries. It's, um, it's a challenging period, and, but it's a transitional period. I think everybody is agreeing that we're moving into more efficient source of energy, but we are insisting that the fossil fuel is going to be part of the energy mix but with a lower intensity of the carbon emissions. I think we need to focus more on reducing the amount of carbon instead of focusing what is the source of energy. How important is so to hold such events like ADIPEC? It's a very good uh, event. It's an um, event to have exposure and to the new technologies. Carbon capture is, is one of the most interesting uh, technologies anybody is looking at. Blue or green hydrogen is one of the technologies we're looking at for our next generation. And also um, reducing emissions, technology, carb uh, into the fossil fuel sector is very interesting to be here to have a look at. Thank you.